take a look at this. The whole beach. All of these are sand dollars. So this is Ocean Beach, by the way. If you're ever looking to get some nice sand dollars, this is where you'll find them. And you can just get like really perfect ones, untouched ones. You can get so many. Like look, no one even comes here. Look at this one. It's perfect. The whole entire beach. Tons. the first Dungeness Crab of the season. I was just wading out here and just looking for things to flip over and all of a sudden I see this big thing and they look like rocks when they're flipping over. I see this big thing flipping over so many times right back into the swell and I ran over there because I was pretty sure like that was a crab just because of the way they look and this is it. The first Dungeness Crab of the season! Look at that! GoPro, stop recording! So, I was just out here in uh, Ocean Beach just walking around in the waves looking for what looks to be flipped rocks but in reality there are no rocks over here it's really really sandy and guess what? I did it! First Dungeness Crab of the season. I saw it, then I just ran to it, and then just picked it up right off of the sand. So, super excited. Haven't measured it yet. Might be a keeper, but let's see. I'm gonna stay out here for like 30 more minutes, see if I could get another one. Well, I don't know, that might be the only one I'm getting today. But, yeah, so right here, I'm just in Ocean Beach. The beach right off of uh, San Francisco and all you have to do is you just wade in the water like this and then just keep an eye out for things that look like flipping rocks and since it's just really sandy here you know it's not a rock flipping over in the water so you just run go check it out and then if you're lucky, it's a Dungeness Crab. Okay, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get anything else today. The sun's already pretty much set, but I'm happy with just that one. That's crazy. I didn't think I would get anything because I spent like, I think around 45 minutes just at this beach, just looking around. And last time I was here, there were tons, like every single wave brought one out. And this time, I decided to check it out again. Last time I was here, it was like four years ago, five years ago. So I didn't even know how to get to this place. But someone else on YouTube posted Ocean Beach on the opening Dungeness Crab Day. And as you guys know, I didn't have any luck out there on the pier. There was like really rough swell. So I was like, hey, I mean, I've got Wednesday off, so I'll just come Tuesday afternoon just to the beach, just to have a nice walk and then maybe see if I could get Dungeness Crab like that guy did. And yeah, it turns out this is the place I came to like four years ago. And here I am, I just got a Dungeness. First Dungeness Crab of the season. I'm so hyped. I was laughing so much when I got it. So I don't know if this has anything to do with it, but I'm here by the cliffs. So not the parking that's all the way over there. I'm more south. And this, I just thought, was where all the rough waves are. And my theory was that if the waves are really rough, then it's possible that crabs just get loose from the rocks they're on or from the sand they're on back there and then if they do that they end up here but nothing yet i'm calling it a day going back home because it is getting late 
and I don't want to be walking in the dark on this beach. So, catch you guys in the next one. I'm going kayaking tomorrow, probably in Half Moon Bay for Dungeness Crab, or I might go to Capitola for rockfish. Still kind of deciding between the two, but yeah, got a couple more videos coming up, so stay tuned. Okay, so I'm back at Baker Beach trying to hunt down these Dungeness crab from the shore again. This time I'm wearing my diving wetsuit because I got kind of cold last time. This is the first catch. I don't think it's a keeper, but I'm still going to end up measuring it just to kind of get to know how big it was. And I just got here like 20 minutes ago. This guy was just holding on for dear life in the shore as the waves tried to take him back in. Okay, so he was about a quarter inch undersized. So we're gonna free him. It's his lucky day. He's just gonna go back into this. Man, there's all types of trash all along the beach and I can't stand that. Say no to pollution, you guys, come on. Look at the ones that she got. She got two keepers on a snare. Pretty nice. And I will keep combing the beach because I've just got two pieces of trash and one small one. So let's keep going. Alright, so the GoPro is probably muffled, but this was my second catch. It is barely under, like if you take a look at this, he's not going to let me measure him, but it's barely under. Barely. Okay, so this guy gets to go back too. Alright, well that's two. Catch number two. I don't know where he's gonna go. Okay, so both of those were under. And actually, you know what? Take a look at this. Oh, no, not again. This guy's under too, underside. They're just they just hide around in the sand. And so you just you just look for them. And they're there. Like this guy, I'm just trying not to get pinched. I just threw him back over here. Uh, it's kind of hard to get a good grip on them. Let's see. I'll turn on the GoPro if I see it again. But he was undersized, so it was just a baby. Okay, catch number four. Let's get in the sun. Catch number four. Well, unfortunately, it's a female with eggs, so I'm not even going to measure it. It looks like it might be barely of size or of size, but it has eggs, so I'm going to let it go. Here we go. Back you go. Be free. So that's four catches today. Three undersized and one female. I just want one good size male no luck so far i think i'm gonna call it a day yep that's it for today just those four crabs unfortunately no keepers and i'm packing it up catch you guys in the next one